Sanya says, is haldi or mehendi function allowed in Islam? If it's not a mixed gathering and only women participate in it, it seems that haldi is turmeric plus oil plus water applied to both brides and to the groom. And it is thought that this mixture brings sort of, of blessing to the couple at the wedding. And this is related to other religions, not to Islam. So following such a tradition and a custom is totally prohibited for Muslims. Because Abdullah ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with the man with his father, said in a long hadith, that the Prophet said والسلام, at the end of the hadith وَمَنْ تَشَبَّهَ بِقَوْمٍ فَهُوَ مِنْهُمْ Whoever imitates a people, he's part of them. And this, what gives Islam its strength. When you see over the past 15 centuries, the Muslims have preserved their aqeedah have preserved their Iman and their Islam was not diluted because it's fixed, Quran and Sunnah. What the disbelievers want is that you forget everything that connects you to Islam. So they force you to shave your beard. They force you not to fast in Ramadan. They force you not to pray on time. They force women to take off their hijab. They force their children not to learn the Quran. What is this? They're drying the resources that nourishes Islam in the Muslims' hearts so that they would abandon Islam and they will fail. They will fail miserably as the communist failed over 70 years to suppress Islam in the... Uh, uh, Soviet states. And after 70 years, we've seen how Islam emerged victorious and prevailed with the grace of Allah Azza wa in these states. So no matter how hard the enemies try, they will always fail miserably because Islam is protected, not by its people, but by the Quran and the Sunnah. And the Sunnah tells you to preserve your aqeedah, your dignity, your culture, and not to imitate the disbelievers, even in pity and small things. And so many times we get calls from brothers and sisters insisting, why are birthdays haram? We want to celebrate the birthday of our child. Why is it haram? It's not part of their religion. And we keep on telling them, reminding them that yes, it's not part of the religion, but it is part of their culture. And we as Muslims have our own culture and we do not imitate the disbelievers. There's nothing wrong in that. What's wrong in uh, throwing a party that people are happy and they exchange gifts? There are, is a lot of wrong in it because it dilutes your religion. It puts you in a melting pot as they want. So. When you see a Muslim and a non-Muslim in their countries, you can't differentiate. They all look alike. They all act alike. But this guy's name is Muhammad and this guy's name is John. So it's only the name. And even the name, they are compromising. So it's not Muhammad anymore. Those who have Muhammad as a name are ashamed of it. So what's your name? So my name is Mo. Mo as Moran? So no, no, no Mo as Muhammad. Why are you doing this? Ah, Sheikh, I just want to blend in. What's your name? My name, is, my name is Noah. What is Noah? He's a prophet of Allah. It's Nuh. See, yeah, yeah, but if I say Nuh, nobody would know what that means, so I just want to blend in. A'udhu Billah. No, you have to hold your grounds. You have to remain steadfast and believe that your dignity is coming from your Iman, not coming from imitating Tom Dick or Harry. So uh, applying these functions that resembles the culture and the religion of other religions is prohibited for Muslims.